Dr. Older here and welcome to the channel. How do you get your V6 to make power like a V8? Easy. Just add one of these. Whoop! In this video, we're going to compare a 3.8 liter V6 to a 4.8 liter V8. We're going to compare the motors both stock, naturally aspirated, modified naturally aspirated then we're going to add boost to the 3.8 liter to have it make more power than the modified 4.8 liter then we're going to add boost to the 4.8 liter to have it make even more power than the boosted 3.8 liter then we're going to add even more boost to the 3.8 liter to have it make more power than the boosted 4.8 liter that sounds like a lot of boost let's get going We're going to jump right in in our comparison between the 3800 V6 and the 4.8 liter. So a 3.8 liter versus a 4.8 liter V8. In this, in this case, the 4.8 liter is obviously the LR4 LS motor. And right off the bat, as a spoiler alert, if you want to make lots of power, whether it's NA or with a turbo, pick the bigger motor. It's a much easier to make power with a bigger motor, even with a turbo. So all the guys that want the, the smaller motor with boost to make more power than the bigger motor, ultimately it's not going to do that. But you can make lots of power with your 3800, and I'm going to show you how we make essentially the same power with the two combinations, but basically at different boost levels. So we need to start off with our NA power output. And if we compare the 3800 to the 4.8 liter LS, the LS has a lot of things going for it that the 3800 doesn't. Basically, it's bigger right off the bat, so that's going to be better and you can make more power. But also, it's more efficient. And by that, I mean, if we look at the um, displacement per cylinder of each one of these combinations, the 3800 actually has a little bit more displacement per cylinder than the 4.8 liter does. We have 0.633 uh, liters per cylinder with a 3.8 liter and 0.6, so slightly less with the 4.8 liter. But what makes this even better in, in the case of the LS is that it has a smaller displacement per cylinder, but it has a lot more head flow. So it, it, it has more head flow to feed basically what are essential, essentially smaller cylinders. So it's more efficient in every way. The 3.8 liter head typically flows about 185 CFM. But a 706 or an 862 head might be in the 235 to 240 CFM. So it has a lot less displacement with a lot more cylinder head. So it's obviously going to be better right off the bat. But we're going to show you what we did to both of these. So this is the, our 3800. This was basically a stock L67 motor. We ran it with a stock uh, L67 lower intake manifold and a gutted um, blower housing upper. We even took the plate off of it, as I'll show you when we modified this. But this was just basically a bone stock, low compression L67 run naturally aspirated and run in that manner. Our stock motor produced 215 horsepower and 240 foot pounds of torque. And we see, because we've got to take a look at the NA combinations before we get into boost, so if we take a look and see what a stock LS motor does, a stock 4.8 liter, it makes 333 horsepower versus only 215 for the V6. Torque is way up, 240 for the V6 and 340 for the V8. So it would take about seven or eight pounds of boost with the stock V6 just to equal the power output of the stock and naturally aspirated LS. But here is our modified versions of these NA motors. So here's our modified version of the 3.8 liter. And you can see we're up to 276 horsepower when we opened up the plenum and maximized the flow of it. We had a uh, <clears throat> pump cam or a, a ZZP camshaft in this. 
And we even had ported heads, although the ported heads didn't really show anything in terms of power. But we were making more power. But here's what an, a modified LS looks like. And this isn't even all in on a modified LS. This is basically just a cammed 4.8 liter. But this is the one that we use for our turbo combination. So that's not it. This is our modified version. So this is basically a cammed 4.8 liter. These aren't even the same two motors, but we had we had a uh, JFR camshaft in it. We'll go ahead and tell you what the specs on that camshaft were. It was a 595 lift, 224, 228 degree duration, and 112 degree lobe separation angle. So, you know, not a really big cam for a 4.8 bar, but certainly more than enough to push the power output of the of a 4.8 liter a little bit over 400 horsepower. So a good starting point. So right off the bat, with our two combinations, we're starting out at a little over 400 horsepower with our CAN 4.8 liter and 276 horsepower NA with our 3.8 liter. So right off the bat, the bigger motor has an advantage, but let's see how we um, offset that advantage with more boost. Okay, guys, now it's time to introduce the great equalizer, and of course, I mean a turbo, and we're going to take a look at the 3800 versus the 4.8 liter, both under boost. So this is our naturally aspirated, modified 3.8 liter, 3800, where we were making 276 horsepower, and here is our modified or cammed 4.8 liter making just a touch over 400, 401, or 402. So how do we bring the 3800 up to 4.8? How do we get a 3.8 liter to make 4.8 liter power? No problem at all. All we did was add some boost. In this case, 7.6 pounds from our single turbo. And in this case, the single turbo was a GT45. Although in this power range, I would use a smaller turbo. It would be much more responsive. And we could make this kind of power with a smaller turbo than the GT45. It just was a low dollar turbo. What I had, it was already kind of hooked up, made installation very easy. As you can see, with 7.6 pounds on our 3800, the power output jumped up to 418 horsepower and peak torque was up to 387 foot pounds. So at just seven or seven and a half pounds, easy to make the power output of, or even better the power output of a 4.8 liter V8. But the question is for all the LS guys, yeah, but that's great. You added a turbo to the 3.8 liter. What happens when we add the turbo to the 4.8 liter? Well, I'm glad you asked because we did exactly that. So here is our 4.8 liter when we were running about seven pounds and boom, lots more power, obviously. So we were gone from around 400 to nearly 600, 300 or 593 horsepower. Torque checked in at 557 horsepower. So again, not really surprising. The smaller motor with boost can make more than the bigger motor, but just not more than the bigger motor with boost. But does that mean we can't reach this kind of level with our 3800? The answer is we certainly can. And obviously, all we have to do is add boost. So let's add even more boost to our 3800. Here's what happened when we turned the boost up to 14 and a half pounds. And we were able to better the power output of our turbocharged 4.8 liter at just over seven pounds by just adding more boost to our smaller motor. So with 14 and a half pounds, we were up at 612 or 613. We equaled the torque output of the 4.8 liter at 555 or 556 foot pounds. So all of that was working out very well, but I know again, the LS guys are saying, yeah, but Richard, what happens if we go up and boost on the 4.8 liter? You certainly can do that. And, and so that the LS guys will be happy, obviously. We're gonna go ahead and show what happened when we added just a little bit more boost so that we can make more power than the Turbo 3800. So we went up to about eight and a half pounds or so with the GT45 on the 4.8 liter and we were up to 630 horsepower. Peak torque was up as well. 
590 foot-pounds of torque. So again, not surprising with the bigger motor and boost, you can make more power than the smaller motor and boost. But the cool thing is with our 3800, we're able to make very good V8 kind of power, even V8 turbo kind of power, but just at a higher boost level. And the nice thing about that 3800 is that it was designed with forced induction in mind from the factory. It's got a very stout bottom end. In fact, we're going to find out just how stout it is later on when we do a big bang on it so we'll put ring gap in it and we're going to put um head studs and with the ring gap and head studs and then ported heads and a better cam and all that stuff and then really kind of turn the boost up we're going to use a turbo like this one that i showed you like this gt or this uh, vs racing 7875 because i think we're going to get beyond what the gt45 turbo will take us to 750 or 800 probably i think it will do more than that before something lets go in the bottom end we'll be able to make lots and lots of power with it and we're going to find out exactly how much i have my fingers crossed i'm hoping for four digit power before something breaks but i don't know if that's possible but it just goes to show you again there are some combinations that you'd want to put the smaller v6 in like maybe a fiero which i think is an awesome combination and i would love to have that kind of car uh, an all aluminum v8 would be nice because it would be lightweight but sometimes they just a v8 just doesn't package as well as the v6 does let's get to our conclusion Okay guys, what do we learn from this little adventure comparing our 3800 Series 2 V6 to the 4.8 liter LS combination? Do we really think that we can make even more power with a smaller motor by turning up the boost indefinitely? Obviously, no, that's not the case. If we start off with a motor like the 4.8 liter LS or any displacement LS and start adding boost to it, obviously good things happen. We showed that in the Big Bang motor. So if you want to make 12, 13, 14, 1500 horsepower and stock bottom end stuff, you can do that with the LS. You probably cannot do that with the v6 but that's not really what this test was all about this test of it was about showing you that with our 3800 series 2 v6 or any smaller combination engine you can make good power by adding boost now obviously there's a limit to how far you can go but you can make really good power as we've shown and that's really what this channel is all about it's taking whatever motor you have not everybody wants an ls although everybody seems to put ls's in everything but there are a lot of other motors out there whether you have a four cylinder a six cylinder eight cylinder ten cylinder 12 cylinder it doesn't matter what it is we always want them to be better and that's what this channel is all about armature holder make sure to like share subscribe ring the bell do all that stuff don't forget boost is always the answer thanks for watching